Uh, we have a lot of uh, good players on my server. Um, overall, I can tell you the list of players and what we can expect. Uh, we got here server 3, 16 players on every semi-final server. On mine, we got a Hawk, who is the favorite to win. Then Zeus, who is, if he trained, then favorite for a top 2 as well. And uh, then for the third place, there could be a battle, but uh, I guess that Spitfire is the uh, most likely driver to reach it. We also have Arubiano. We have um, then myself. We have uh, Hawkey. Also here are Morgi and Tim. The thing is that we have multiple strong coast drivers. We got Hawk. Very strong coast driver, then uh, whole insanity basically almost. Uh, we got then uh, Tim, super coast driver, Morky, super coast driver. Like for many players, that the coast is their best environment. So Lucario is also fighting for third place overall. Uh, he is very consistent on all the environments, on, on many environments at least, and plays with steering wheel now. And uh, Necrox, I think, said he won't come, so he should be missing. But apart from that, uh, we got also Ender on the server, then Rat, who is very good keyboard driver, uh, Frink and Galba. Galba is extremely good usually, but I just saw that he's called Galba on keyboard. And his best environment was usually Island. So if he's doing keyboard now, that should be difficult. And then we also got uh, Jumper and Kaderbark. But there are mostly a lot of good players here on the server. The aim is to reach either top 3 or top 7. So we will see uh, what is possible. Top 3 is unlikely. I think I would need to be much, much more trained. Um... Like Hawk and Zeus, if Zeus is trained, then Hawk and Zeus will definitely be in the top two. And uh, also the others to beat them all for third place will be uh, rather difficult. So uh, probably the aim today is just to reach the top seven and qualify for the Constellation final. But of course from the beginning I will try to do my best and see if there is maybe a slight chance to get the top three done here on the server. But also top seven is not free can also be uh, very exciting towards the end. Uh, of course every player that you see here has uh, better and worse environments, so that switches around a lot. So we have to see how it will go. Uh, I guess we will start. So you see the points here, 25, 22, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 13, 12, that's all.
And I guess after this round he will uh, then start the match. This is now me keeper driving. That's really annoying because I can't uh, drift to the left side, it's not possible. With the keys that I have binded. Ending. And we go live, and it will start with a rally. So we are 13 people, or 12 people, or something like this. 12. And top 7 is the goal. Uh, the minimum goal. Seven maps, and on each map, uh, multiple rounds. I'm not sure how many we will see then. Only one warm up, interesting. And the cars are forced on. That is the uh, often the rule in United, which makes it uh, yeah, exciting for you in the chat probably to see the race, but which makes it also difficult to drive properly. Because you have sometimes uh, the case that it's blind. Good thing is I can uh, see if they found some lines. After that one warm up, we will already go live into the semi finals. Somehow failed to finish. It gained me a position. So what was the author time? 53.8. So in theory, I was driving uh, 53.2 in the... Yeah, in theory I could get around 4th place here, I think. Probably also needed. I got him. Fifth place. The first uh, three are too, uh, too fast. 
I have to say. So seven rounds per map. I just see. That's unfortunate, only 7th, but it was so close ahead of me, and behind me is a huge gap. Yeah, I, this is so unlucky. Holy shit. The bump that I got, which makes me lose uh, uh, four positions, then three there in the end, so close. Ah. <laughs> and it wasn't even my mistake in the beginning. And then I get punished so hard for that. I have to pack always a bit ahead of me. Spitfire is also having a hard time here in this environment. Lucari won the round, oh oh. I fucking can't see my skip marks when there are other ghosts. So I don't know if I have a slide or not. Lol. Yeah, every point might matter, so I have to 
give everything to overtake. Should be doable. relatively free to be out of Spitfire at least. Komm schon. Like, how unlucky can you be? Why am I always exactly behind everyone? Ah, this is so stupid, man. <laughs> like, if I'm two times faster, I'm third instead of eighth. <laughs> What was that? So, and now I have to quickly get rid of these uh, settings from the next week for the other environments. Uh, the thing is that, uh, let me ch click quickly do this, then I say what I wanted to say. Yeah, the thing is, we are not a full server. So if other players uh, crash, they will only drop to maximum 12. So a seventh place is just not good enough. Because that's basically in the second half of the field. Uh, so I need to have better positions. What? What do they do? Dude. I can't join the server. Hello. Yeah, many people actually have that issue. Yeah, that needs to be fixed. Documents. Trackmania. Uh, screenshot. Mm, no. Are we gonna try again? 
maybe that doesn't work to uh, save a screenshot in that set, uh, situation. Uh, so what do we have here? I have to go uh, quickly into the stream from hockey. No, the server is not crashed. It's just when you leave the server, you can't rejoin it. They are, they are not finishing. They are waiting on the server. Making the sound on, in case he's speaking. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's, That's pretty, pretty weird. Yep, you have to wait.
one idea, one idea is, is to fix, fix uh, uh, one, idea one idea is to stop the match, match. Let, let people rejoin, rejoin start the match again, again and skip the bay. Not sure if that's the way to go though, might fuck up the setting. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right. Welcome, Welcome back. back. <laughs> I'm there three times <laughs> on the server. So now I can join. The match was stopped now. You take the points of the rally map and now we start the match with Bay. Alright, so we continue now with Bay, and yeah, as Zeus writes, you have to know now the differences uh, on the first map. So I was in 8th place and I had a bit of gap, but I don't know the gap now to every single player ahead of me. platform is just no shit. But yeah, the match is live again. This is the warm-up on the bay map. <coughs> and then we go into the next map. Okay, Bay app environment. Others are very good here. Oh, yeah. Wow, I got a drift. I didn't even see that shift. It slowed me down so much, that's crazy. What is the... Uh Oh yeah, okay, 50.11 was the autumn time, and my PB is 49 mid, I guess, so I could be there.
Okay, that's gonna be tight today. Yeah, and I understand that. I also always dislike the fact that we play with cars on. And I don't know what that drift was that I got. Like, at that corner, I never got a drift so far. Based on environment where I need to make some points. But the thing is, everyone is strong on Bay. Not just me. And uh, this is a round where I survive and I'm again right behind everyone. This is incredible, like this goes back to my bad at the moment. Behind me is a gap of 1.4 seconds, 1.3 seconds. And ahead of me it's so close. With a 50.11 I think you would have had a... ...fourth place, partly in the first round at least. Oh there. Sig was better than nothing. But as we are not a full server, Sixth is just not good enough. And that makes also the point system not as uh, consistent uh, rewarding at anymore. Because the first place wins so many more points over the big rest of the field, that first places are actually important. Like if people have their strong environments and win a lot of rounds there, they will create a gap to me. Oh, I've 100 ahead of Lucario. But as I said, even if you full question you get last, you only lose 5 points on me. Only 5 points. But the first place wins already 5 points on uh, third. I mean, I can just hope that uh, Hawk is dominating this. Okay, didn't expect a 6th place here, also didn't expect that I try for 50 low again. <laughs> I'm always getting 6th every round. I also always drive the same time. Exactly author time now, again.
But consistent 6th places will not bring you into the top 7. Like if I press top, you see that I'm 8th. One point behind 6th and 7th. I didn't expect to be seven. Scheiße. Uh, it was easy to be three points further up. Okay, oh, thanks for the prime sub, Yona, Tan, <laughs> thank you a lot. What is the reasoning for cars forced on in cups like this? Yeah, uh, tradition. That's the only thing. It was done uh, almost 20 years ago, so it has to be still done. I uh, was always saying this is not nice to drive sometimes you have others uh, using the horn so that annoys quite a lot if you have uh, the other cars horning uh, they uh, sometimes you are blind and then you crash because you couldn't see the corner that is also annoying you can't hear the gear that's also annoying and if someone has a bad connection uh, then he lags around and that is also annoying and he himself if, if you are the guy that has the legs then for you all other cars are lagging which is also undrivable. Like the legs yourself, that would probably be doable, but if every other car is uh, jumping around, it's also not nice. So there are many, many arguments against that. But there are just some people that uh, want to have the cars forced on. Without, like I wouldn't call that a reason. I know what what I say as argument, but this is not really an argument. This is just personal preference, but they decided them for everyone. So I was always a bit annoyed by that. So, and I also know many others are annoyed, but it's just how we play in United. I hope that it will change at some point, but I'm not so uh, not so sure about that. Yeah, enter exactly. again the same as always. I have all the cars right in front of me. And I'm seventh. Like it's really, it's always just like two tenths missing and I would make up multiple positions. But seventh, they are only four players behind me That's and one of them is Hawk. Yeah. That doesn't even help me. Like my direct opponents, they are probably just right ahead and win yet another point. Quite annoying at the moment. If you can win rounds, then it's basically very safe for you to get through. But if you don't get these first places, then oof. 
And that means that even someone like Tim is very dangerous for me, because if Tim starts uh, winning a lot of rounds on his own post map, then he will come through, no matter what he does on the other environments, because they can crash as much as he wants on other environments. I will not gain a lot of points on him, because there are just not 16 players on the server, so that is really uh, annoying. Maybe, Ender, you should come back. Fifth place is at least something, but even that is not good enough. Like, uh, because there's only a one point gap behind me, I will definitely not make enough points to catch that up. But there are, are environment specialists. I, of course, also have now the chance on Stadium to win rounds, but I'm really forced to do that. And Tim is forced to do it on Coast. There's a lot of pressure then. You only have seven rounds on your favorite environment. And you know Stadium, there can always something go bad. And I have, of course, still opponents that can deny me the victory there. But uh, on Stadium, I basically need to go for the first place, for the 25 points. That's the only way to catch up. If the server was full and one of them crashes, well, let's take Galba for example, he makes a crash and ends up in 15th place, then I would make a lot of points on him. Then I would gain a lot of points on Galba. But here they can crash, it doesn't matter, but the good positions matter. It will be really tight. And we have so many environments where I have the feeling I'm I don't really feel too confident on them. I saw it coming. Yeah, another place. Shit, I could have been three places up. But that's just uh, not a part that you can save, Leufring. That's just not a part that you can save on that uphill. You have to, of course, full speed jump that. And I lost my grip a bit earlier than I wanted. But I also have one of the most difficult servers for sure. In the end probably even server 2 is easier, I don't know. Like for just getting the top 7, this is actually difficult. I don't think that every server is so stacked. Because I have actually these opponents here. But yeah, whoever wins multiple rounds is definitely unreachable for me. So top 3 is not the aim today, like I'm really in big danger to not make top 7 here. Like even top 8 is not safe. I have such a much better start. My line is there completely wrong. They just jump. I don't know how they managed to land good. Oh. It was so obvious. Whenever I am together with other cars in that fucking section, 
Whenever I have also a chance for a good place, yeah. Maybe I don't even know if that that was probably a, a good round. It was probably a, or just a battle for seventh or something. Seventh, sixth. Those edges are difficult. I don't know, Team United is for me very, very difficult to save. Actually, I wanted to open it anyway. We come now to the part, to the point where it's really important to uh, uh, get good points. Coast is actually one of my best environments, but we have the most difficult server here. On other semi-finals, I would have the chance to get some uh, very good positions. On this server, however, the chance is high that I only score like the sixth, seventh places on coast. Because we have soup, like the best coast drivers all here. <laughs> we have a lot of insanity drivers on the server. And they are all very good in, uh, in coast. So it's gonna be super difficult. Usually, coast and stadium are the two environments where I try to make the comeback. I always went like that. We usually uh, used a uh, MotoGP point system. And with a MotoGP point system, uh, first place, second place, and also third place, they were extremely important. And I was always training those two environments much, much more than the other five, because the point system just gave you the advantage if you were able to uh, score some very good positions there. That made the difference. Like, the rest didn't matter. Like, it's an all-round competition, but the point system... Oh, look, they all make wall bang, huh? So I found it myself, but it was correct. So even though it's an all-round competition, environment specialists had then very good chances to come far, because they can gain on their environment basically the big point gap. While other than that, there's only like this one point gap. Okay. Yeah, then let's see what I can do on this map. That's why I hate cars on. So what happened? I made a wall bang and I heard drift sounds and I I, I thought that might be me who has the drift and I counter steered because of that. But then I turned out that it was someone else who had the drift sounds. Like I made now a time loss, a big time loss, lost the gear then for nothing. It was not even my mistake. But I hear the drift sound, so I no. That is just so dumb. We 
because other cars are extremely loud in this game. You, c you can't hear your own car good enough there. Everyone in front was getting it perfect. I tried my best lap and again I'm right behind everyone and... <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I got fourth. I got Zeus at least. And behind me is that huge gap. <laughs> uh. Third place, with that time. There were a lot of crashes. But Tim ahead. <laughs> he makes points here as well. Fourth place. The times in front are pretty sick. <laughs>
Oh, they all got it. Can't believe it. Third place right in front. Zeus won a round on coast. Interesting. On our server. I uh, scored better points on coast than on other environments, but it's not too good. I'm still in 8th place only. So it might be that we have to break now after stadium. Usually the break would be after coast, but because we started this new and started the bay, it will uh, come later. Interestingly, Hawkey is behind. This is gonna be so close to reach the top seven. This is gonna be so tight. That was the worst round ever. <clears throat> that that was really slow, yes. I, I had only bad corners in the beginning. It is so difficult with castle, literally.
tym, my tym, my tym, my tym. I can give up this round already. What are they driving now? Uh, this is much faster though. I need a better start because if I don't have a good first drift, then the second drift is so shit to drive. You are too slow for it, you know. Why was that so slow? Huh? That must have bugged me. That must have bugged me. Because the turn didn't look that bad. Oh my god! Scheiße. Stopping gear or something. My car went so deep into the... Uh, so tight into the corner, out of nowhere. Uh. Like offline I drive here consistent 50 second times.
It's so unlucky, man. I get fourth place. It was so close, like I almost could have won that round. But obviously it has to be fourth, I have same time as Bitfire. This is one of the only guys that has a faster match PB than me. So he gets the point. Mm -hmm. was possible to win, but again only third. Kacke. Naja. Look at the points. I went up to fifth place. And there are still those points coming up. Fifth place. Now we have a break. Uh, so if you look at the points, you see I have a lead of 8 points to Tim, I have a lead to Lucario and I have a lead to Galba and Horky. Horky is far behind, that's good. So if I want to get 7th, yeah, I will definitely be behind Hawk, Spitfire, Aru and Zeus, definitely. And I will also definitely be behind Lucario, I'm also sure about that. And then there is the question... Um, The thing is, Tim is close. Tim, Tim and me, we are very close battling, but we both had our good environments now. We both have worse environments later. The thing is, it will be super close because Island is last and Galba, Galba's best environment is Island. It might be that Galba is doing 25 pointers there. If he is doing that, he will catch up a lot, like I was just catching up a lot. So Galba is a big danger. Uh, Tim, who is close to me, however, is, should be worse on island. So, <laughs> on the one guy I can win, on the other I uh, will probably lose big time. Lucario is already too far in front, I think. He, he scored too good in the in, in rally. I mean, okay, he's now a bit behind me, you know, who knows, but Lucario is also good on islands. And Hawkey is also good on island, but he has a good, a big gap now. Uh, but yeah, we also drive desert still. Desert and Island. Uh, and this is basically my two worst environments in the end. So that's not really the best thing. So three warm-ups. Oh, they go left? I never saw that way. Is that really better? Well, I will stay with what I did. So this desert map is uh, one of the most difficult maps I've ever played in desert. There are a thousand possibilities to uh, drift away or to flip over with your car. Um, thousand possibilities to crash. I try to save it. I mean, there might be mistakes. It's really not easy to get through here. How good are the other players on Desert, you might ask? I have actually no clue. Like, usually it's not a good environment for me. This map here, however, is also very different than normal Desert maps. It is very fast, you have to smooth steer a lot, which is not so nice for keeper players. So... <sighs> I had some good rounds here, I felt good. What is the author time? 52.52. Yeah, okay. They are much, 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 much faster than that. So Hawk, for example, will have a pace that is 
incredible. Like that is so much faster. But might be that my direct opponents are not that good on Desert. So maybe I have a chance there. I'm literally the only one who goes here. Okay, in the last warm-up I will try. That one guy goes outside there. I actually also never checked that outside line. Maybe that's actually much safer. I don't know. Is that really much slower as well? Might be actually a thing to do. Uh, I can't answer your question now, Neutral. This is not so close this match, I need to focus on that. <sighs> okay, what can we do? I will try now in the last warm up these other lines, let's see. I mean, yeah, surely this is just easy as well. Just here, I'm a bit fast. This annoys me then, I will release before. Interesting safe line. Uh, Zeus is usually good in desert in rounds mode. I think I will also split the safe line. I'm not in a fight, so I can release here a lot. Oh my god, really? I was only ninth. Oh, naja, I told you that are not my best environments. I was only ninth. What the heck? Yeah, that's not good enough. I need to be faster than that. Ninth? How are they so consistent on such a map? I expected way more mistakes.
Oh, I got him. That's so important because it's by direct opponent, Tim. And also Galva is right behind. So those are the people I battle with. Not good is the fact that Hawkey got third. Hawkey's best environment is also idle. Oh shit. I forgot. So also he will make some points at the end. Ninth. Yeah, but my times are also so slow. Like I, I'm usually much faster than that. Off light, I was much faster than that. I mean, I need to risk more because there's not much that I can lose when I'm without risking only ninth. No? Then I can also risk a bit more. I just thought that people would crash more, you know. I thought I would score better on Death of the Ninth because of crashes. Because in my opinion such a map is so hard to control. Tim is doing good points here. I mean, I got the author time easily. I got the author time easily, the 52-52. And now I'm driving slower than the author time. I don't realize where I'm losing so much time compared to my uh, offline ones. some crashes this round so this is a round that I save now and I just take the points that they gift me fifth place but Galpa and Hawkey ahead however Tim losing a lot that's good <coughs> yeah fifth place on Desert is nice Shit, I lost that position. But the uh, good thing is that I didn't miss the finish line. 
fourth place is, is at least good points again. And good thing is that Tim loses points. That is really one of my opponents. Hawkey also lost points. Got him. And that was Galba. Forty nine for Hawk. What the fuck? Okay, so the points are now interesting. I am still no I'm now behind Lucario. As I said, he is anyway ahead of me. Uh, with Island still coming, definitely. But yeah, here Galba and Tim are important. And Hawkey. And this is very tight. Now the question is, how do I drive island? Because on island, the uh, the thing is extremely close as well. The guys behind me are very good there, and I have to pray that I don't get the big points. And the question is now always how many people will, will crash on that environment. Maybe I can just save it, but maybe also not. We have some super good island players here. Zeus is, I think, one of the best rounds drivers in island. Hawk is anyway very good, but he will for sure crash some rounds, but it doesn't matter for him too much. Hawk is good everywhere, of course. So. Ach yeah, the map is by Hawkey himself, by the way. It's a Hawkey map. I uh, drove against his author time. I wanted to get his author time yesterday. I was not able to do so. He, is he has 10th Daddy Mania record. So you can expect him to do well here and to get good points. I it will be really, really tight. I can tell you. And probably we will not know the result. Uh until we add the rally points, where I was only 8th and where I was behind Hawkey and behind Galba. Ah, 100 behind Frink, because I had the overspeed, but I got the gear change right before the finish line. Hawkey second place. Galba, however, crashed. But he doesn't lose many points. Anymore. I just can't risk the corners in United. It's so difficult to see the limit. 
and I have no control over my stick or my gamepad. Oh, I'm 8th. That's better than last, but I expected almost. I got overtaken by Hawk, who was behind me. Uh, I overtook, uh, however, Galba. Tim again, two positions ahead. I really need to learn driving wheel. Hawkey in second, ahead of Hawk. Tim again ahead of me. Why is Tim good on this? I, I said. Tim is usually losing points on island. I, I expected Tim not to be that uh, good on island, to be honest. But he's a whole second ahead of me, so I really can only hope that it's always just one position between us. Because then he will only gain one point. I almost kept the gear. Sixth place, and Tim two behind me. That's good. Galba two in front. Hawkey again second. He's getting second every time. Wow, oh, this is so tight. I mean, sixth place is good for Island. But it doesn't matter which position it is, it doesn't matter how much I win or lose against my opponents. That we are on such good positions is because uh, good players like Hawk or Ahu make mistakes. And finish them behind. How much speed he can go through the corner there. If I go faster, I drift away immediately. Yeah, I'll take that sixth place. Hawkey behind. Tim, however, three ahead. With a 46, what the heck. Galba also two ahead. <laughs> I would like to see those crashing. <laughs>
Okay, thanks for giving me the place. Galba again one place ahead of me, but good thing is that Tim made a mistake and loses six positions on me. This is the last round of the whole cup today. But Galba and Tim are right in front, so they don't win. Oh. So, the cup is over, we look at the points, and I have 708 points. And I think that could be enough. Galba is one point ahead of Tim, but Tim was far behind on Rally, so he plays no role against Galba. Galba might overtake me, but Hawkey... I'm not sure. I don't know what, how many points Hawkey had on Rally. Uh, but they have also a decent gap to them. I lose 5 on Galba, 15 on Hawkey, and you gain 5 on Tim. That's equal to Galba. Ah, now, now it's gone. <laughs> but Hawkey should be behind. So the question is also who is now top 3, who will directly qualify into the final? For sure Hawk, maybe Aru, I didn't even check now. <laughs> Hawk writes it feels like I forgot how to play maps during match, yeah. <laughs> You're still dominating. So with your uh, points, you would say that I will stay on 6th. That I'm not even 7th, I will stay 6th. <sighs> I mean, I, to be honest, it looked really grim for me for a long time. Uh, Stadium put me further up than I thought, because I thought I need first places, but I only had yeah, one or two second, probably just one second place. And I had two thirds or something. I had also a full crash on Stadium where I was almost last. And uh, so, so I only used six rounds of Stadium. And I did not really realize that, but I made a lot of ground on Coast and Stadium. Coast was just extremely consistent. And I thought, however, that this is not enough because with a fourth place, for example, I win only seven points on, on last. So that's not much. And But however, I had a gap. But I was really seeing it to shrink down on island uh, in the end on desert, but I'm really happy how consistent I played on those two environments. Like I was super slow, but there was just one... I, I think I couldn't have gone faster and being consistent with that. It was basically you now the strategy, I look how they crash and take exactly those positions and then I see if that's enough. And then I hope that Tim, Galba and Hawkey are not getting the 25 pointers in front. If they get denied the big points, then I don't lose much. And that worked out. Because there were many crashes. Sadly, uh, however, by a Hawk, uh, who made some blunders, so I partly also overtook him on island, but that means that my direct opponents were still up there and had better chances for the good points, but Hawk is not there. 
Ah, you put them on my Discord. Okay. So we can. Uh, This is very nice from you that you did that shelter. Really nice. So you see here uh, the overall points. I'm 15 ahead of Galba and then more towards Tim and Hawky is 45 behind me. And I mean, this is just one single environment here, really, where I lost five on Galba only and I lost 15 on Hawky. But yeah, I will stay ahead of both. And I won five on Tim. I knew that I was winning against him. And overall, I was in the end 18 points ahead of him. Uh, I gained that mostly on Stadium and on Desert and Island. I was, even though he was in many rounds ahead, I think overall we basically scored the same. Even though he was faster and he was also looking consistent, I think we still scored the same amount of points. Boah, but that was tight, man. That was super tight. And then also the question, who's top three? So we have your Hawk, Spitfire and Aru. And here we have Aru, Hawk as well in front. So it's basically already safe that those are in the top two. Um, and that that uh, Hawk is the winner of our server. Aru is in second place. And Spitfire was only at 119 points. But uh, that is fine. That is no problem for him. He will remain ahead. Uh, so Spitfire also qualified for the grand final together with Hawk and Aru and Zeus did not. Zeus is not in. Zeus has to go into the consolation match like I also have to do and also Lucario who uh, did good on ready. He's also in the consolation match and Galba is also in the consolation match um, together with me. Because he is uh, 40 points ahead of Hawkey. And Hawkey only wins uh, 10. And uh, against Tim, he's ahead in both uh, scores. Exactly. So it is enough in the end. Uh, I'm happy with that. But I need to train a lot if I want to have a chance to qualify for the Grand Final. I need to uh, YOLO Stadium. The, the only big chance that I have is searching for certain tracks, certain environments, and then YOLO them for the top places, because you need those top places as well. Even though we then have maybe a server with 16 players, but uh, if I drive that slow on Desert or Island, or as I did it last time, it, it, I, I will always be further behind. It will probably not bring me a lot. On my better environments, I need to also get good positions into the finish, because we will play, um, as I said, 4th to 7th, Qualified, so four players from the semi final qualify, and that's from every semi final. So we will have uh, 16 players qualifying into the consolation match. And from the 16 players, the four best in the next match will qualify into the grand final. And uh, yeah, that's of course, I mean, I need to improve a lot. Even though you can see that the gap to Zeus is, for example, not that big. But if you add also the gap here on Rally, the thing is with this point system and with this amount of players, it was difficult to create big gaps. Uh, as long as Hawk is denying the 25 pointers is, uh, very often. Uh, Hawk is taking the big points away and then there's only a one point gap. So it will remain close. So 60 points is in the end still quite a lot. But yeah. It looked really quim and I'm happy that I did not uh, completely fall, fell down into a mental breakdown there. Uh, I, I kept it cool and did basically the efficient way in the end. The first half of the match was really shit. The second half was fine. Now even though Stadium should have been better, definitely. But even though I was not happy that I didn't win all the time, I was still often getting third, fourth, and that is still seven points better than last, so I consistently made positions there, or points. Alright. Yeah, really tight, really exciting, I have to say. Um, 
And I need to train really a lot if I want to have a slim chance and then it's also very exciting because if I manage to have a good start into the match, if I have good points, if I have the chance to make it, um, it will be close. Like if I make it, I will only barely make it. I will not have a big lead or something. It will be close. That's for sure. And I have to check if I can learn driving with wheel. Uh, <laughs> Because, I mean, this is just one week, but it would be much, much better to drive some environments with wheel. I just see that with gamepad, I, I don't have the feeling. My hand is also then too much, it has too much, too much cramp. And I uh, can't really have the feeling for my car. How close am I to the limits to slide out? I, I literally just don't know it. And I can't steer as much as I want to with a stick. It's just too precise you know and uh my my hand is then just hurting a bit too much at the moment it's maybe from the age then uh, plus that the game runs a bit bad in fps as well um for whatever reason that is but in this environment in these environments you would really want to have like 200 fps to really be able to react on everything you see how quick those cars are how often you have to react very quickly and how you precise you have to be in the steering and if you see for example that you have a slide or something then you want to react very quick on that and uh, this is of course not that easy and for, when you think of bay how quick the bay car is um, you want to uh, Go, of course, also tight through the corners if you want to have a good time. But I am just happy enough if I just survive a corner <laughs> because it goes so quick. <laughs> yeah. And if I uh, survive the corner with good corner speed, that is already makes me happy. But then also being tight, like that, then the consistency will completely go away. That is very tough. But anyway, uh, so then. Next match will be then for me on next Saturday evening um, after Cup of the Day and the Grand Final will be on Sunday. If I do not qualify for the Grand Final and it looks to be the case, but I was not perfect trained, maybe there's something possible, but it looks bad. If I make it to the, uh, if I don't make it to the Grand Final, I definitely will cast it. You see how exciting those rounds are, how close that is, the battles. Um, we, we're only now the players from this server there were three other servers with also sick players so the top positions they are super close together and it is uh not obvious who will crown uh, himself the champion that is not obvious 